Welcome to Management Overview Training for the Advantage Plus Reprocessor and the Advantage Plus Pass-Through Reprocessor. Management is the program where you can view past cycles and events, add, modify, and delete endoscopes, users, and physicians. The specific user, endoscope, and physician lists your facility supplied will be uploaded into the management program during installation of your reprocessor. The management program comes set up with several user groups. Established rights are allowed based on the user group selected for you by your facility. For example, when assigned the user group operator, users have access to view but not edit management data. Users designated as nurse manager can add, modify, and delete users, endoscopes, and physicians. Let's log in to the management program. Select the ADV utility icon. This icon should be in the lower left taskbar. If not there, the icon should be on the desktop. Right-click and select Pin to Taskbar. Select number 3, MGMT, or Management. A login window opens. Select your name from the drop-down list. Then enter your numeric password. Click on OK to open the management program. To prevent unauthorized access to the management program, all users designated as nurse managers and engineers should have a secure password. Management software should be closed once work has been completed. The management program opens to the Cycles application. There are five application icons on the General tab located down the left-hand side. The five applications are Cycles, Events, Endoscopes, Users and Physicians or Assistants. Let's walk through each of these. The Cycles application collects information from the disinfection programs. Specific data can be retrieved from the database with the sort and search options. This list includes, but is not limited to, reprocessor serial number, basin used, date and time of cycle, cycle run number, cycle result, disinfectant temperature, disinfectant contact time, Operator Load ID, Operator Unload ID, Endoscope Model, Endoscope Serial Number, Patient ID, Physician, Disinfectant MRC Test Results. To view the cycles report, start by entering a specific time frame. Press the down arrow to the right of each date window and select the desired start and end dates from the calendars that appear. To view the cycles within the time frame specified, Press the Run icon, which appears as a yellow lightning bolt located on the upper left side of the screen. The cycles within the specified time frame will be listed. To sort the cycle by any column, click on the column name. Click the column name again to reverse the sort. To view details of a specific cycle, double-click on the desired cycle in the list, displayed as a very detailed view of the cycle information. A more common view is the Reports format. To view the cycle information in the Reports format, click on the Report icon located towards the top left of the screen. This is the same format that will print if your unit is connected to either a local or network printer. The Cycles report list can be narrowed down further based on additional criteria. To narrow or filter your search criteria, press the down arrow to the right of the filter icon that resembles a magnifying glass for a drop-down list of the search criteria. Select the desired search criteria to see cycles within the specified time frame. For example, if the endoscope search criteria is selected, a list shows the endoscopes reprocessed within the selected time frame. Double-click the endoscopes you would like to include in the search. A green check appears to the left of your selections. Click OK. Then select the Run icon to generate a cycles report that lists the endoscope selected within the specified time frame. Since the cycle report shown is filtered by endoscopes, the magnifying glass icon changes to include a triangle. To remove the filter and see all the endoscopes again, click on the magnifying glass icon with the triangle or filter. The filter symbol will disappear. Then click the Run icon. The cycle report shown is all the cycles within the specified time frame. Cycle logs can be downloaded as a CSV file 
from management to a USB drive to view as a spreadsheet on your personal computer or PC. From the cycle application, select the desired time frame. Click the Run icon to generate a list of cycles within the specified time frame. Connect a USB drive to the USB port on the reprocessor or on the monitor for the Advantage Plus pass-through reprocessor. Click the Spreadsheet icon. An Export dialog box appears for you to choose where to download the data. Click Select and find the name of the USB drive inserted. Double-click to populate the destination file box. Name your report by typing in the File Name field. Click Start Export. The cycle data is now copied to the USB drive. To safely remove the USB drive, go to the ADV Utility menu. Click on the Eject USB icon. A utility to safely eject a USB drive opens. Double-click the desired drive. Remove the USB drive once you get a message it is safe to remove. When using this file on your work computer, save in an Excel format. The Events application records fluid changes. Select the Events icon on the left side of the Management General window to view fluid change information. To run event reports, start by narrowing your search criteria by entering a specific time period. Press the down arrow to the right of each date window and select the desired start and end dates from the calendars that appear. Press the Run icon to generate the report. For each event, the following data fields are recorded and stored on the PC hard drive. Events. Time at which the chemistry was changed. Operator who changed the chemistry. Code. This field is generally empty. System is the serial number of the reprocessor. Reservoir describes the type of fluid changed. Lot number of the chemistry changed. Helpful tip. The last six digits of the Rapicide PA disinfectant Part A and Part B lot number is the expiration date from date of manufacturing. To sort any column, click on the upper dark blue title area. Click again to reverse the selections. Users are the individuals who operate the reprocessor and have access to the management system. Access the user application by selecting the user icon on the left side of the Management General window. For each user, the following data can be entered. Name is the user's name. Login is the user's login information and generally is the same as the username. The group you are assigned to determines the level of access to the system. We'll discuss more about user groups shortly. Barcode is a unique number assigned to each user. The barcode could be in the form of a label supplied with your reprocessor or from the employee's user badge. Personnel code can be used to enter the user's employee number or other ID. This field is not required. Password can be assigned to a user to protect that user's login. To prevent unauthorized access to the management program, all users designated as nurse managers and engineers should have a secure password. Passwords consist of numbers only. User groups are set up to establish access rights for different types of operators. For security and data protection, operator access is limited to specific programs and functions. There are two user groups that are most commonly used. For daily operators, select Operator, Hospital. For system managers, who can add, modify, and delete endoscopes, users, and physicians, select Nurse Manager, Hospital. To add a new user, click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Click on the New Page icon to insert an empty input line. Position the cursor in the Name field. Enter the user's name. In the Login field, re-enter the user's name. In the Group field, select the appropriate group from the drop-down list. In the Barcode field, enter the barcode number assigned to the user. If using the supplied barcode stickers, do not enter the leading zero. Personnel code isn't required and may be left blank. It could be used for the employee number, barcode number, or other ID data. Password is the employee's personal access code. 
Password can be numeric only. Click on another line to save the data. Continue to add users by clicking on the new icon and entering the user's information. Once finished, click on the edit icon to disable editing. To modify a user's barcode, click on the edit icon to enable editing. Select the barcode field that needs to be modified and enter the new information. Click on another line to save the data. Click on the edit icon to disable editing. To modify a user's name, you must delete the user and then re-enter as a new user with the correct name. To delete a user, click on the edit icon to enable editing. Select the line showing the user to be deleted. Click on the Delete button. When the confirmation window opens, click OK to delete the user. Click on the Edit icon to disable editing. The reprocessor is supplied with a set of barcode labels to be used with the endoscopes, operators, physicians, and assistants. The supplied set is numbered 100 to 199 and includes two barcode labels per number. Duplicate barcode labels can be ordered. Additional barcode number sets are available. For barcode part numbers, refer to the reorder guide that comes in the in-service packet with your AER or call Medivator's technical support. The Advantage Plus Reprocessor and Advantage Plus Pass-Through Reprocessor run different programs for different types of endoscopes. Each endoscope requires a specific hookup and parameter set or program. Refer to the hookup guide link on our website to identify the correct hookup block and parameter set to use for the endoscope to be reprocessed. Let's review how to access the hookup guide. On the Metavator's website, click on the hookup guide link. From the drop-down lists, Select the Advantage Series, your geographic region, model of your reprocessor. The Disinfectant field defaults to Rapicide PA Disinfectant. In the Detergent field, select either No Detergent or Intercept Detergent. Select Endoscope Manufacturer. Endoscope Type, and Endoscope Model. The number of endoscopes per basin defaults to one unless the endoscope type allows for a dual endoscope hookup. Click on Retrieve Hookup Info. The next page contains information for the specific endoscope model selected, including the required hookup and parameter set. For example, the Olympus colonoscope CFH190L will use hookup 28611 and parameter set 124603. Since we are using intercept detergent, the parameter set needed is clean, disinfection, rinse, alcohol. Make note of the hookup and parameter set as this information will be needed in the management software when adding the endoscope type. An alternative method to search for an endoscope's hookup and parameter set is from the drop-down lists. Select the Advantage series, your geographic region, model of your Advantage. The disinfectant field defaults to Rapicide PA disinfectant. In the detergent field, select either No Detergent or Intercept Detergent. For Select the Endoscope, Click on the blue box labeled Enter Endoscope Model Number with Keyboard Under Model. In the pop-up box, type in the Scope Model Number. When typing the model number, it is important to ensure all the dashes, letters, and numbers are in the correct order. Click Search. If the endoscope is found in the hookup guide, a found message with the scope model will show under the search box. If the endoscope is not found, the message will state, No match is found. The model number must be entered exactly to be found. Correct the model number and proceed. Click OK and the endoscope model is now populated under the selected endoscope heading. Click Retrieve Hookup Info to view the information for the specific endoscope model selected, including the required hookup and parameter set. 
Make note of the hookup and parameter set as this information will be needed in the management software when adding the endoscope type. It is important to note that failure to use the correct hookup and parameter set can potentially result in an endoscope that is not disinfected properly and therefore should not be used on a patient. If you are uncertain about the correct channel connections on an endoscope, refer to the IFU that came in the package with the hookup block or call Medivator's technical support at 1-800-444-4729 for assistance. Access the Endoscopes application by selecting the Endoscopes icon on the left side of the Management General window. Before entering the information for individual endoscopes at the top of the Endoscope application screen, the endoscope type must already be listed. If the endoscope type already exists, proceed to enter the individual scope information in the Endoscope section at the top of the screen. Let's go through adding an endoscope type that is not already listed. Click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Click on the new icon next to the Endoscope Types window at the lower left of the screen. An empty input line appears. In the Endoscope Type field, enter the Endoscope Model Number. Enter the number of channels. This number can be obtained from the Hookup Block Part Number. The first digit of the last three numbers indicates the number of channels. For example, Hookup Block 28611 indicates the Endoscope has six channels. In the Leak Test field, enter a 1 for the Endoscope Leak Test Port, or a 0 if the device such as a dilator does not have a Leak Test Port. In the Hookup field, enter the Hookup Block Part Number required for the Endoscope Type listed. Continuing over to the right side of the screen, click on the new icon next to Parameter Sets. An empty input line appears. Click in the Empty field and click on the drop-down box to the right. Type in or scroll through the parameter sets to select the correct one. The parameter set can be obtained from the online hookup guide or by calling Medivator's technical support. A brief description such as clean, disinfection, rinse, alcohol can be entered in the parameter set comment field if desired. Click anywhere outside the field to save the changes. Once finished entering all the endoscope types, click on the edit icon to disable editing. Now that the endoscope type is entered, you can add individual endoscopes. To add information for a new endoscope, click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Click on the New icon next to the Edit icon. An empty input line appears. In the Code field, enter a code for the scope. This field cannot be left blank, must be unique, and all numeric. In the Endoscope Type field, select the Scope Type from the drop-down menu. Click in the Hookup field to auto-populate the hookup. This is possible because the information was entered under Endoscope Type at the bottom of the screen. Type in the Endoscope brand. Enter the barcode number from the label applied to the endoscope, leaving out the zero that precedes the number. Before the barcode label is attached to the endoscope, ensure that the endoscope has been high-level disinfected. Then. Use alcohol to clean the surface of the endoscope where the barcode label will be applied and let dry. The barcode label should be placed on the endoscope in a location where it is visible and easily accessible to scan when the endoscope is in the basin. For the Type Number field, the Endoscope Model Number field can be re-entered or copied and pasted. Enter the Manufacturer Assigned Serial Number from the endoscope in the Serial Number field. In the Internal ID field, enter the endoscope's model number, serial number and or hospital inventory number. This field must be filled in. The value entered in this field is displayed as the endoscope identification on the LIO screen during the disinfection cycle. The internal ID is printed on the cycle log. Tag ID is currently not an active feature. The Status field contains a drop-down to select In Service when adding a new endoscope to the inventory. The Memo field provides space for notes, if desired. To save the new endoscope data, click on another endoscope entry in the list. Enter as many endoscopes as needed, remembering to click on another line at the end of each entry to save the information entered. To modify an endoscope barcode, 
Click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Select the barcode field and enter the new information. Click on another line to save the data. Click on the Edit icon to disable editing. To delete an endoscope, click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Select the line showing the endoscope to be deleted. Click on the Delete button. When a confirmation window opens, click OK to delete the endoscope. Click on the Edit icon to disable editing. Access the Physicians or Assistance application by selecting the Physicians or Assistance icon on the left side of the Management General window. Individuals who have performed the procedure or used the endoscope are listed under Physicians or Assistants. These individuals are not actively involved in the disinfection process. Therefore, they do not have operator rights to use the system. To enter a Physician or Assistant, click on the Physician or Assistants icon on the left side of the screen. Click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Click on the New icon at the top of the window. An empty input line appears. Place the cursor in the Internal ID field and enter the physician or assistant's name. Please note that when selecting physicians from the LIO screen, the names can be displayed alphabetically for easy selection. This can be accomplished by entering the last name first in the Internal ID field. In the Name field, type or copy the name from the Internal ID field. In the Barcode field, enter the barcode number assigned to the physician or assistant. In the Type field, click on the down arrow and select Physician or Assistant. Click anywhere outside the field to save the changes. Click on the Edit icon to disable editing. To modify a physician or assistant barcode, click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Select the barcode field and enter the new information. Click on another line to save the data. Click on the Edit icon to disable editing. To modify a physician's name, you must delete the physician and then re-enter as a new physician with the correct name. To delete a physician, click on the Edit icon to enable editing. Select the line of the physician to be deleted. Click on the Delete button. When a confirmation window opens, click OK to delete. Click on the Edit icon to disable editing. The computer on the Advantage Plus pass-through reprocessor and Advantage Plus reprocessor is equipped with mirrored hard drives. Mirrored hard drives consist of a main hard drive and a second hard drive that contains an exact copy of the first hard drive. This configuration provides a backup of the entire computer system. The databases should be backed up on a regular basis. Although the mirrored hard drives do provide protection against a single hard drive failure, regular backups of the database to a remote location will protect against database corruption or complete system failure. Remote location examples include a USB drive or remote server. Follow the procedures established by your facility for scheduling and storing backups. For support in backing up your database, contact Metavator's technical support. Thank you for viewing this video. Please complete the assessment that accompanies this video and print the completion certificate prior to your hands-on in-service.